This is just a quick video showing some of the issues we're seeing with the new RTX 2080 cards in uh, Photoshop. Uh, so you see here we're on driver version 411.63. That's uh, currently the only driver. And we're on Photoshop 19.1.6. Uh, That's uh, CC 2018. And so the issues we're seeing. Uh, so far we know of two. There's probably more. Uh, the first is if you're doing just an image resize. Um, this is only applies if you're upscaling the image, so making it bigger. Uh, so in this case, we've got just this image here. I'm just going to turn it up to 6500. Um, and if you're on automatic, you can see even on the preview, it's giving some artifacting. And if I actually resize it, you'll see all of these gray boxes. Um, and this happens no matter what the source image is. Um, in this case, it's a raw image. It happens even if you are just a, you know, image that you're generating. Um, and this happens if you are either on auto, set this back here, for an automatic or preserved details enlargement. Either one of those is going to give you the artifacting. Uh, any of the others don't seem to give any artifacting at all. So if I use this preserved details 2.0, it'll take it a little bit longer to resize, but there's no artifacting here. So that's a workaround if that works for you. Uh, the second issue we've seen so far is with sharpen and specifically Smart Sharpen. The other Sharpens seem to be okay, but Smart Sharpen, you can even see with the preview on, we're getting these artifacts across the middle of the screen, and as we change it, the artifacts change, uh, but in fact, even when we hit okay, the artifacts change again, so you'll, you're getting these, uh, these black bars uh, randomly throughout the image, um, and as far as we know, there's no real workaround to that except to use a different Sharpen mode. Uh, now these issues, again, there's probably others. These are just the couple that we've seen, and most likely these will be fixed in a future driver update. This probably is not a hardware issue. Uh, it'll either be fixed with a driver update from NVIDIA or a patch from Adobe for Photoshop.